All right, now that we are logged in, the first thing it's going to do is ask you to set up a website domain. This is what you would hand out to people to get them to go to your website. Um, so, you know, hotkitnews.com or what have you. Now, we should note here, because you're on a free account, a student account, yours is not going to end in just.com. It's going to end in .weebly.com. Uh, other than that, you're going to choose use a subdomain of weebly.com. And then you're going to choose the name that you want. Now, you don't want to be too cute here. You don't want to be like sunshine and rainbow unicorns at weebly.com. Even if you love sunshine and rainbows, that's not very easy to pass out. Remember, we're creating a portfolio here that we would be sharing with potential clients, potential business people. So you can be as boring as something like Ben Johnson portfolio. Or you can add something to that like Ben Johnson design. It's most common for people to have their name in it because that's how people associate with you, right? You don't call your photographer Ray's Imagey, right? You call it, you say, I got my photos taken by Ben. So oftentimes you're going to have your name. Um, my particular business is called Memory Makers Multimedia. So that would be the other way if you have a business name. But in general, if you don't know what else to do, Ben Johnson, Port portfolio is what I'm going to go with here. Okay. Now you might notice as I did on mine that your subdomain might be taken. So you might have to add something or uh, change something in there. Ben Johnson design is available. So we'll go ahead and use that. I'm actually going to add a two just because I want to not steal Ben Johnson design in case I want to use it later. Uh, so that's how you get your subdomain set up. Now Weebly has got a pretty nice little kind of feature here on the side that will walk you through the rest of you know or a lot of the setup stuff uh, but I think my videos will cover it a little bit nicer as well all right so let's just take a quick tour of the web space here on the left hand side you have the basic elements these are the elements that you can drag in so if I want an image down here at the bottom I can drag and drop that in uh, along each page there's going to be a header area uh, and we'll talk about customizing that in a little bit. And along each theme is going to have a different kind of menu navigation style. Along the very top of Weebly, there's some different buttons for pages, themes, settings, and so on and so forth. So it's a really slick editor. I don't think that you'll get lost to it. And so let's get started with your next video. We're going to be covering how to choose your theme.